The nuts on tour Rolling in the motor home Moving town to town Never feel alone Hi, I'm Mark Hi, I'm Sue And together we are Nuts, nuts on, on tour, tour. <laughs> Welcome to this edition Ping, there you go Welcome to this edition In this edition we go to Hollywell Farm or Holywell, depending how you want to say it. Well, it's only got one L, L. and we've been calling it Holywell, Holywell. but ho ho Holly should have two L's, I think. So maybe it's Holywell Farm. But a lovely, a lo regardless of how it's pronounced, a lovely little hideaway CL, CL. site. Yeah. Yes. We went there before we went to Newark Shore. So I know this has come afterwards, but that's just so we got them in the right. Yeah, so we could put them out while people were actually going to the show. So uh, first of all, we do uh, mm. a little bit of travel to the to the farm mm -hmm. and uh, a little walk round. If any of you are into foraging, lovely place for foraging. Plenty of it. <laughs> Play, we found 11 different edibles just walking around the campsite including there's some rather nice wild horseradish which we uh, we did speak to Marlene and Peter the owners about uh, we saw some nice wildlife uh, a deer well a couple of deer yeah yeah a couple of deer barn owl barn owl what was the big numerous birds of prey not yeah. no, no kites as in the bird of prey kite but buzzardy things buzzardy things buzzard yeah big birds of that prey. were up fighting with the crows yes <laughs> yeah. i think the crow quite knew what he was taking on but yeah I don't know. <laughs> uh then we went to belton estate belton estates which is down near grantham yeah and then on to the castle and then we we came back up towards newark and we stopped off at newark castle and you know looked at that and the river didn't we yeah then went into newark for some lunch we didn't no. film that no not a lot of point <laughs> yes. newark's left uh quite a bit to be desired i've heard you know sorry newark's closed today due to lack of interest yeah it wasn't very uh that was a monday but it, it, it was a monday but even so you know it was, it was very 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 quiet yeah i think the first four <laughs> shops we saw were shut it's like yeah. oh they must have had a really busy weekend then yeah, yeah. but uh, hey ho and Good then month. we went to livy Dunn. no we Life on Dunn. on later in the week uh well Hello, little girl we went to we went to stamford and had a lovely walk around stamford the, the town of that was nice that was lovely a little it was expensive but it was all like little boutique -y type shots we haven't actually got we've got a few still photos of the streets but nothing else but yes very nice and from there we went to what they call Livedon and it's um it's a garden it's the garden house is what it was um but it was the gentleman who built it lived in the manor house which was where the main cafe was but he built the garden house up the hill with the views i guess very nice but he was a staunch catholic mm. and i think that's why the house is it's a it's a it got, it's a ruin I, it I didn't think, get ransacked it got demolished <laughs> no I, I think i'm not sure if it was in the the times of old henry the eighth when he was yes. going around doing the monasteries you know if you're a roman catholic in them times you didn't want to own up to it did you no. so uh i'm not sure if that was where it where it never either never got finished or it never or it was finished and then it was destroyed but the the outside walls are there but there's no roof or floors yes so a bit of video of that we got up one morning didn't well we, we had a, a rainstorm it wasn't quite torrential but not far off and we yes. got up in the morning and uh, little doggy's bed was wet and we thought no she hasn't had an accident because she sleeps on her bed which is at the bottom of our bed at the front uh, at the back and the bed with the wet spot on was the one she lays on in the day which is in the front so she couldn't get to it so we uh, we looked i will put a bit of video in here just finishing the breakfast off yes we got up this morning to find out we had a leak so uh, just in this corner there we are there's a drip 
the drip there so uh, I've taken the that's what it should look round like with the surround around it so I've taken the surrounder down off this one to see where it uh, where it was actually leaking from coming in and it's just in this very bottom corner we've looked all the way around so uh, when the rain stops we shall uh, have a little look in that corner we'll get out and have a look on the roof in that little corner and uh, I've got a I've got my gun and some CT1 so we shall have a look and see if we need to reseal that well we do need to reseal it but we'll have a look and see if we can repair the bit that's up if it's just a bit that's gone if I need to take the whole thing off and reseal the lot so uh, watch this space back in a bit so at the stage I did the video I wasn't sure if it was the whole seal that had gone or it had just dried out or a little bit or what have you so uh, got the ladders out very luckily at one of the shores we got a set of ladders which are big enough to reach up to the uh, up to the roof three and a half meters so climbed up them and found out there was a little gap under where one of the hinges was so I had to take the uh, I don't know I'll, I'll put a picture in of how the clips are but uh, undo the four clips holding the roof panel on the top of the light at uh, the top of the skylight take them off and literally a little bit of CT1 and ding all good again and since then we've had torrential rain Don't gosh, have we? we were at Newark at Newark <laughs> yeah say no more everybody knows what the weather was like there yes we had torrential rain at, uh, at Newark and uh, it survived that without leaks it's hot isn't it little girl it's currently 20 24 degrees in here we've got the tops open and the doors open and it's still warm it's for you, a bit warm it, for you guys a hey, puffy panty girl but uh, yeah that's all sorted and then a little a little bit of video of us leaving the site I'm not doing arriving at Newark because we've already done that but a little bit of video of us leaving the site to get on and off the site it's quite a long road I will put up the what three words I will put up the what three words for the entrance so you can get there but it's quite a long road and there are trees all down one side so for us it was to one side coming back and to the other you know, side coming back up yeah uh, we he, have enough adventure stripes on genesis he, the gentleman who it. actually uh, owns the yeah, place he did say that uh, one of the jobs the on conifers his list. were due for a trim yes one of the jobs on his list but the site itself uh it's not perfectly level the space <laughs> for a good five vans there's five five jenny size space lots of space for that uh we were the only ones there for three out of the four nights and a little a little uh volkswagen little, i think it was, no, it was it? a little um camper came in yeah a little it? camper came in for one night they just stayed the one night but yeah uh you will need blocks or you'll need to find out how you can park so you are just so level or if you like sleeping head down or feet up or whatever <laughs> yeah park that way around yeah. but the views we've got sue's Love posted put, sue's posted several on uh, on social media but uh, the views are phenomenal brilliant views Very on with the vid right good morning well this is us we're off on our what is it third third trip of the season so far fourth okay get about oh yeah four would be four yeah. and uh next week we'll be at the warner's show but uh this week we're new work around Newark we're staying in that vicinity having a having a look around the area but, uh, yeah so we're now on our way two hours nine minutes to go apparently but, uh, we've got Monty on the back so we can get out and about and we're just cruising up towards Norwich so going through the road works wonderful extending the bypass aren't yes they're actually putting a bypass in or rather a new bit of road so it'll be dual carriageway all the way from April to Norwich 
Uh, all I need to do then is duel the acorn straight. Yay! And go we'll, for it. And we'll be sorted. Right. I will come back to you shortly when there's something of interest. It's just road at the moment. Not particularly interesting. But we have got a bit of blue sky and some white clouds. So not so bad. Well, good afternoon now, I think. Oh no, it's not. I tell a lie. We've got two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Start again in two minutes. Yeah, two minutes <laughs> till the afternoon. Uh, we are about uh, 15 miles from where we're staying. Which is? Uh, Holly, Holly, Hollywell Farm, uh, near RAF Cranwell. One of our favourites, another, another, another working farm. It's a working, like farm working farm and, farms. yeah, working farms and it's a CL. It is. Uh, with views apparently, got quite nice views down across the flats towards Newark. We've been waving at all our motorhome associates coming the other way. And how 28 many? For 36. 28 people or 28 motorhomes have waved back. Out of 36. Out of 36. So it's, uh, and we've had all weathers sunshine, cloud rain, heavy rain, and sunshine <laughs> and now we've got blue skies so hopefully there's blue skies now for the rest of the trip which would be good. All settled in the back, I haven't heard a squeak out of them since we've been travelling which is good, they're all tethered back there. And we have our road lord sat nav, our falcon sat nav and Mr. Nutt's got another road lords running over there. And I don't know if you can see that, probably not, it's all reflected. But Monty's behind us. And here comes another motorhome. Let's see if they wave. We'll wave to them like we do. Yay, Yay. we got to wave back. Uh, must be the old school that are out now. The newbies have all gone, they're the ones that don't wave. <laughs> 29 for 37. Yeah, when we actually get where we're going, we will show you around. Okay. Right. Well, we're on site. There's Monty Park there. I'm going to actually go to the other end because otherwise I'm trying to film into the sun. There's the puppies. There's Mr. Nutt in front of our sticker wall or sticker door. It's f nearly full. We're going to have to move to the other door at this rate. See how many more we pick up when we go to Newbury. But yes. Oh, Newark first. Oh, I got Newark, but I'm not sure how many we'll get there. And the the bus is all well. <laughs> It was an interesting arrival, wasn't it? We actually started out at this end, down here, we did. Unfortunately, the paddock is not as level as it can look from a distance. We started out about here and then we went back to the back fence and then we moved back into the middle because this looked a bit leveler than the rest but as you can see <laughs> I'm sorry about my shadow it's not as it is level now or rather the bus is level now but we are airborne at the front that's the farmhouse up there now, there is another paddock up there a bit closer to the house with electric hookup. We're here. We're the only ones here at the moment. You've got uh, this electric hookup on the fence there. Over here for two. It's a bit windy. I hope that's not affecting the, the sound. 
Let's hook up there. The puppies. It's warm inside. It's actually warm. It's just blowing a hooli up here on the top of this hill. Because, I mean, well, it gets a bit breezy. It's a bit gusty. Way off down there in the distance is Newark and beyond. <laughs> and the other electric hookup is here in this paddock on the fence here. See, we thought we'd come back here, but it was no better. There's a hook up there. Over here, through the gap in the fence, behind the horse box. There is the chemical waste disposal. And then the fresh water is just the other side of this bin. And the fresh water is there. And we've got recycling, recycling, that's glass bottles, and regular in the bins. Like I say, reasonable, I mean, reasonable entrance off the road, which is previous, plus there's a reasonable entrance here. And then you've got steps to get up to the other bit of paddock. It's five van site. So you can either have five vans on this bit or five vans on the on the top, I guess. Because each one of these electric things, hookups, does two. But yeah, lovely, lovely little farm house. There's lots of polytunnels next door. Whether that belongs to them or not, I don't know, but they're certainly not in use. There's a few buzzards or some sort of bird of prey flying around. Apparently, if you're lucky, that time of night, you might see a barn owl dancing about. There's something over there that's metal, almost looks like a cage. It does. Yes. Yes. Nice sight. I mean, it's not a hundred percent level. Not too bad as long as you bring your your chocks with you. Might be more level towards the back. But the views, in all honesty, are to die for. They are. Ooh, fall down the alt. <laughs> That's the only thing. I'm not sure. This is a bit nettly down here. It's a bit wild and woolly. But yeah, not too bad at all. This is the entrance. Holly, Hollywell Farm caravan. Entrance to the site. Nice big sweep in. This is the lane. Not exactly the quietest lane in the world, in any way, shape or form. This is the entrance to Hollywell Farm. Nice wheat field, property there. And you go round to the right to get to the site. This is the footpath, <laughs> in all its glory. Good morning and welcome back to our second day at Hollywell Farm. Lovely, uh, lovely morning this morning. I was, believe it or not, I was actually awake and up at 4.30 this morning. Lovely sunrise, we saw some lovely birds flying around. Not a big bird watcher, but uh, it was nice to see them. I know there was a big bird of prey up there and uh, lots of pigeons i know what pigeons look like we have enough of them at home but uh, no it's a lovely day we had a, a lovely afternoon yesterday took the two puppies for a, a long walk did a spot of geocaching for those of you that don't know what geocaching is geocaching is the world's biggest treasure hunt Basically, uh, you use your mobile phone or your tablet or whatever, and there is an app, 
and it gives you the coordinates. Uh, some have hints, some don't have hints. And then when you get there, there will be uh, a container, various sizes from like the little, uh, the little 35 mil camera film containers that you used to put uh, photographic film in. Some are like the, the size of the little, the little tags that you use for dogs or cats names you have a piece of paper scrolled up inside them uh, i think the biggest one i've ever found was an old ammunition box and that was sort of yeah about two foot by a foot by a foot deep that was a, a huge one that was in a cave uh, up on the moors but uh, yeah you go there and literally all you do is just sign your name to say you found it i think at the moment we've done just over just over a hundred something like that but uh, we had a look on the map yesterday i have a a, a plug-in that plugs into my uh, my map system and uh, looked on that and it said there were five nearby so uh, we walked the dogs and went to the closest one and uh, thoroughly enjoyed our walk it gives you another reason to go out there and walk not that we need a reason not with these two I'm just going to turn the camera around just for a second to show you big dog and he's just had his breakfast and you can see <laughs> he's nodding we've just had break your little girl there you are little girl's laid down on this on the floor she's on her basket curled up on top of her you can just about see the head of the squeaky toy She's curled up on top of the sleep, sleep, the, her squeaky toy, and that's it. He's now collapsed and gone to sleep. And we're back with me. Uh, I've already had my shower and uh, made myself as... Yeah, it's not an easy task making myself look this handsome. God knows, I've got not, not got a lot to work with. But uh, no, I've already had my shower and got ready, and Sue's uh, just hopped in the shower, so I thought I'd have a couple of minutes just to... Uh, just to fill you in with what we were doing. Good morning, and this is day three. Yeah. 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 This is day three of our trip. And here we are arriving at Belton Estate, another National Trust property. So you can just see behind me, I think. Uh, we just parked up the Monty, and we'll have a little wander around the estate. Now, here we go. We just got in. I don't know if you can see them now. Just at the side of me. No, no. Just through the trees there. We came in through the gates. And as we came in through the gates, two deer cro crossed the path just behind us. Oh, that's it, yeah. A rather impressive main entrance. There you are. The house opened at 11, so it's about 18 minutes past now. Of course, just as we arrived, just just as we arrived here, the uh, the heavens opened, which is as it forecast. Oh. <laughs> Hooded crow on guard. There we go, house and the entrance. And this is inside the blue room. Blue bedroom. Blue bedroom. Downstairs bed, well actually we're on the first, all this is on the first floor. But it's a beautiful piece, I mean. Oh, what wonderful there. little writing desk. Up and the ground floor. Chaise lounge. The nuts on tour. Rolling in the motor home. Moving town to town. Never feel alone. Going from place to place. Waving at every face. Hitting the road of grace. Never in a rush. Sharing stories, it's what we do Laughter filling the air, true 
With the open sky so blue On this journey we find a way Every mile, every day Adventures never stray Living life on the go With every sunset and glow Memories start to flow in this endless show to flow in this endless show enjoyed that video and uh, if you did you know what we'd like you to do that's subscribe ring the bell thumbs up comment because we will answer the comments well actually mr nut will probably be answering the comments because i'm actually not here next week she's leaving me <laughs> <laughs> she's off on her holes well I wouldn't say it's a holiday. <laughs> I'm taking my mother away for a week. Could be a challenge. For my I mental could... health. <laughs> for both. Yeah. Our next video, the next video, next week's video, will be another one in the... I'll put the logo up somewhere. The Van Other Collective. And the theme for that one is gadgets. Gadget. You all know how how my good lady wife is a real gadget freak. He's the gadget freak. And I apologise if you can hear any background noise, but the... But they've uh, now decided to the cut the grass. The council have just rocked up to cut the grass out of the front, which they've been ignoring for at least three weeks. So uh, apologies for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're on the little mic, so that might be all right. We'll have to see. If not, I'll have to do a bit of magic. Uh, yes, theme is gadgets. So... Uh, Yes, luckily they haven't said top three or top five or top ten, so you might get quite a few. And top twenty. <laughs> top twenty. To be honest top with 30, you, are some top of them, fifty. Some of them I wouldn't call gadgets in the true form of a gadget. Define the word gadget. What do you think a gadget should be? Comments below. Right. For me, a gadget's something that you use mechanical electrical or otherwise to make it easier you know microphone it's electrical but it's a gadget you know? yeah gadgets a gadget we have a different do we have a differing opinion on what is yeah. called a gadget difference but of opinion on. then after that we are away again this time we are at the norfolk garden show which is at the uh um, Norwich, Norfolk Show, Norwich, Norwich Showground. Showground. So at the Norwich Showground. I'll put up said poster. There you go. Put up said poster to show you where. So I will be. Uh, I'll be flogging my pens. Oh, sorry. I'll be selling my pens. So will be flogging me if I don't sell enough. <laughs> yes. We'll be uh, selling the pens. Come along and see us. I might even have a sticker in my pocket. You never know your luck. <laughs> Depends if you want stickers. If you want a sticker. <laughs> or you but might yes. just want the pen. We will be there f 
uh, it's I think uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It is. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The show. Which is uh, yeah, all all good, all good. And then after that, well, it's way down the line. I think the next one after that is the Newbury show. Yep, that's at the end of the month. So I shall put another one. There you are, the Newbury show. You still have time to come and book tickets for that? I believe so. They haven't said that they've. Oh, well, they haven't said they're full yet. So uh, oh, and we're of getting course... it all today, aren't we? Now we've got a plane going over. <laughs> so... Sounds like I live on an industrial estate. <laughs> Shh! Don't give the secrets away. <laughs> so. All we need now is a lorry reversing, bleeping away. Oh. So come along and see us at Newbury. There is a code VLC ten. Ten. Yes. Uh, put that in the in the. Put that, and you you will get ten percent off the cost of your tickets. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's quite a lot on at this show yes. this time because it's it's its second yeah, year. So cooking it's demonstrations. Uh, line was that line dancing? I think as well? there's yeah. I think there's line dancing there. And then there's uh, numerous groups, I believe, and there is a music, wellness, wellness centre. Yeah. Food. I think there's entertainment or something for the kiddies. kiddies. Quite yeah. a lot going on. It's a, a festival, basically. Come and join us. Come and say hello. Till then, I'm, we're going to wrap this one up because he's now started streaming. <laughs> Couldn't write this. Air blower out. Anyway. Couldn't write this. Till the next one. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye. Life's a fill in the air, true With the open sky so